If alpha particle, particles are shot toward the nucleus of an atom, they are eventually repulsed away from the nucleus along hyperbolic paths. Determine the equation of the path of the alpha particle shown in the figure. Well, the alpha particle is coming in in this direction, and as it gets close to the nucleus, it's repulsed away. Um, and what we uh, know, uh, apparently, is just the one vertex of that hyperbola that we're supposed to find the equation for. One vertex here is at 3, 0. Now, our form for our hyperbola is going to be x squared, and this is because we have a rightward branch here, so the x term will go first. x squared over a squared plus oh, minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Um, and a is known because that, that's the, uh, the value of the vertex there. So we actually have x squared over 9 minus y squared over b squared equals 1. We're going to need to locate or, or determine the value of b. Now, one way we can do that is to realize that the, um, the diagonal uh, or the asymptote that we had here um, will be part of a box, and that box is commonly used to sketch the shape of hyperbolas. And the corner of this box is the point x equals a, y equal b. And that's because the slope of this line is y equals um, rise over run, so b over a uh, times x. Um, a is known, and, and b is the, the other value that we're looking to find here. Well, if that's the case, and we know that that slope of the line is y equal 1 half x, then we should be able to work out, um, using this point, how far along we are the y-axis, since we're 3 units along the x. So if y is b over a, where a is 3, times x, <clears throat> and if y equals 1 half x, then we can match up those coefficients, that b over 3 must equal 1 half. And so solving that proportion gives me uh, uh, 2b equals 3, or b equals 3 halves. And what I've done there is just the old cross-multiply trick. Um, so if, if indeed b is 3 halves, or 1 and a half, then our equation for the path of the alpha particle should be x squared over 9 minus y squared over 3 halves squared. That's 9 fourths equals 1. And that uh, gives us the, the path that we're asked to find.